Hey, what's going on, you guys? Like, what you guys said on DC TV Talk. Today, I got two for you. Uh, well, there's one video, but two reviews. It's from Black Lightning, episode two, uh, season three, episode two, and The Flash, episode six. I mean, season six. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, episode two. Uh, Black Lightning is going to be first. There will be like a little timestamp to let you know when the flash is start. So if you want to see the flash, go to like the the the, uh, the, the time <laughs> and watch that one. If you just want to watch both of them, just take a while because I'm about to start Black Lightning, which I thought, I, I thought this episode was really good now that I thought about it because I watched it Monday. I think it was Monday and it was late Monday and I I think I was just tired and I didn't end up reviewing it but somebody actually was like, hey man, what's a Black Lightning review? I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, I actually do. I do have to do that. Um, but yeah, the, I think the reason I liked it so much because of like all the stuff that was going on actually kind of like made, I don't even say made sense. It's just like, I think it was like serving a pretty big purpose and let you know like what's going on in Freeland. One, it's like the, the can't go in out of town. Like the all out news outlets from outside can't get in. And like before somebody said, it's like under martial law, before anybody like reports anything, they had to like basically get it cleared, you know? So it's like everything is on lockdown. You got a Nissa who's outside, who's outside of Freeland, uh, and like I think it's like uh, wherever the Purdy station. I think it's South Freeland, and like she's bringing in all these medals and like they and a uh, old girl and her dad were like, Man, "What are you doing? Are like, you do you steady bringing people? Like I get it, you know that we here to help, but like you can't just keep bringing all those people." And I'm kind of. I was kind of looking at them like, I, I get where they're coming from, true enough, but at the same time, it's like, yo, I helped you guys, and I'm paying you guys, so, like, what's what's the big problem? Like, I'm trying to, like, I, I'm trying to help these people just like I helped you, if I, you know what I'm saying? And then, I feel like the, uh, I can't think of her name, but the but the girl who's, you know what I'm saying, with her father, like, she's, like the, she had the, uh, the two kids. I feel like she on some off shit. I feel like she gonna eventually, like, tell on them. Like she, cause she just was giving me all those vibes of like, oh, I don't like this. I'm, I'm gonna tell you, and I, I, I didn't like it. Like, I always like look at people body language after you like tell them no or like y'all get in an argument and see like, okay, what can this person do to like affect me or hurt me? And I think like she can honestly like, hey, I don't know how she would get the message to the people to the ASA in Freeland, but she can get like some stuff to the Markovians. Only reason I'm thinking that might not happen because she saw one of the, the, the people, one of the members can like grow plants and stuff, but like she still doesn't trust Anissa anymore because Anissa choked her dad out. Because Anissa like went full, like she went full vigilante style. Like, no, I don't, this ain't, this ain't Thunder. Thunder nice and stuff, dog. This is Blackbird. Like, it's, it's two different people, two different tones, I said. And she choked him out and threw him like, hey, if you, don't do, if you don't let these people come here, well, I just pretty much tell your whole thing down, and I, you know I can do that. I'm like, damn, Blackbird, that's how you living? I, uh, that, that was kind of, kind of harsh, and, uh, Gamby trying to get her back in, but she, she, he needed the, uh, uh, my boy at the police to, like, help him get some stuff so, you know, he can communicate with her, and he said, now he can bring her back in whenever, which I'm thinking she probably gonna get back in the Freeland. Uh, next episode. On top of that, we still have Jen, who's dealing with stuff at school, who whooping boys at school. For some reason, them boys is living like that. They don't get back. I, I'm, I started. They, I, they said they were from Freeland. I thought they were from Louisiana. The way they be no women. I just, <laughs> that is not a good notion of like people from Louisiana. But I'm just like, yo, I see. Like she didn't even hit them. Like she just literally stopped them. She stopped them two from fighting each other. And they said, oh, you want to break it up? We going to jump you up. Like, these boys out here wildin', man. Yeah, they do everything away. They said, we out here. And they got the head whoop. And it was recorded. Everybody recorded. I'm like, I, I just didn't see, like, why Jen thought it was, like, a good idea to, like, stand in. Like, when it's, I see if it was somebody getting jumped or something. But it was just two people fighting one-on-one. -on -one. You just, some shit you just got to leave alone. You know what I'm saying? They might have just been, you know. Quick disagreement, like Jen, but like Jen's like kind of getting tired of it. And who y'all know who I'm getting tired of? I'm getting, I'm man, I'm so sick of old bro. Like I, I man, I do. 
dude, I hate this dude so bad. <laughs> like every time he's on screen, every time he's talking, man, I'm over here praying another predator just show up and just and just blow his fucking face off, man. Like for real, I do not like Odell, bro. Like, and then we saw what he did with Kalia. Kalia is like a, a basically a robot or painkiller. They sent this man to kill his mama. Which, and my boy, that boy Braxton P. Harden and Bree were thinking like, man, why don't you send him to do that? They can like snap him out of it. Did not snap him out of it. One bit, he killed his mama without like nothing. There was like, there was no hesitation. He just walked in. She over there trying to hug him and he just killed her. Which is going to be weird because I understand that I think it's going to be different when he sees Jen and it might be like, you know, I need you to go kill this girl. And he might like have a different effect, but like, dude, I understand you was in, you was talking to Jen for a little bit, bro. And y'all was on the run together. That's sweet. It's cool. Dude, that was your mama. So I, I'm going. They're gonna have to pull. They're gonna have to really pull that off and make it believable to me, for him to 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 not. If he hesitates at all before he kills Gene, I mean he can hesitate a little bit, but like if he completely snaps him out of it. I I'm, I'm no shit now. Like she gonna have to like whoop him. And like knock him out and bring him back, and then like over time, maybe I, I, that right there will work, of course. But like, no. And uh, Jefferson and the man have some disagreements because, of course, like, hey, we we ain't this thing locked up, and like, I don't think, and like they both have like different ideologies or like, like she's saying like Jefferson, like, are you willing to like sacrifice these kids? But like, he's like, nah, it's not that, but like. I don't want them to be used, and she's like, oh, that's not what's gonna happen. We just have to, we just have to save them and worry about that later." And it, it's, it's conflicting uh, what, what both of them want to do. Cause like, and she thinks Jefferson was like pressing old girl, the girl who can, uh, 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 the chameleon like chick. She, he's like asking her like what's going on and, and and both of them like hey you don't understand this you don't understand that and it's just like a, a separation between the two which and jefferson powers are getting better i'm ready to see him like leave or like, I, I don't something's gonna have to happen and the marconians are actually i can think the marconians were actually a thing i, I swear like i like i knew Odell kept talking about him. I'm like, I'm like eh, it's Odell. He fucking lie. That's all he do is lie. He just lied to manipulate things and 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 to where like he has the advantage or like where they work for him. But oh, they're actually Marcovians and they was like going around just waiting so they can get in a freeland. It's just like this is a clear and obvious thing. It's nobody gonna like. But then again, I think they pretty much abandoned Freeland at this point. Uh, like, the, the world is pretty much doesn't care about what's going on there because it's not happening to them. A lot of times that's how it is. If it's not happening to you directly, you, people tend to not care about it. It's just what it is. Until it gets big and you have to. And But that's that's just the world we live in. And so this, I think this show kind of like shows that element of it. Uh, but yeah, you guys let me know what you thought about Black Lightning. Let's jump over here to The Flash. Um, which was an episode that kind of put Barry Allen in like the back seat and let other characters like take the, the take the some take the you know what I'm saying the forefront, which is uh, the character that I wasn't expecting to really take the forefront like they did was uh uh oh I'm about to say Lucille oh my god that is her name right it's, 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 Cecilia Cecilia uh, I don't know why I'm blanking on her name right now I, it, it, it happens sometimes people sometimes. It just becomes a white space in my head, I'm telling you. Remember the episode of SpongeBob when you just burn up everything in his mind? That's sometimes how my shit get, I just get everything. Oh, but anyway, she's like trying to say this girl, uh, I, think, I think I got a name, wrote down Allegra, uh, Allegra Garcia. And she has like the, and uh, Cecilia knows she's not guilty. But, like, the girl kind of just, like, I they've already labeled me all my life, so it really doesn't even matter. The girl wasn't even putting up a fight. That's how that's how bad it's, it's gotten, or, like, she feels like it is. Like, it doesn't matter what I say. Like, 
this somebody identified me on the scene. They identified me by my tattoo. Hey, I have, I'm a meta and I have powers. Of course they're going to say it's me, which is kind of, you know what I'm saying, a good way of thinking. Well, not, not a good way of thinking, but like it's it's an honest way of thinking. You know, sometimes you just people judge you, and that's just be what it is, and 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 you don't have faith in other people to like see through that. You know what I'm saying? Because that's just how the world works. But another thing, the thing I think I like the most is that, and I'm getting to like the Barry Allen stuff in a second, but like uh, Cecilia wants to instead of. Instead of uh, be uh, the the district attorney, she wants to become a defense attorney for like matters, which is great. I think I think that's great. But here's where the conflict lies: that her job is to like defend them, okay. But what if she her, her powers are going to have her doing things that? Okay, let's say somebody's guilty. And she knows that that person's guilty. Is that she still gonna give an effort to defend them? That's why I think the conflict arises. At, you know what I'm saying? And I think it's gonna something. It's gonna be something they're gonna play into, maybe down the line. Maybe when she have to defend somebody like uh, Bloodwork, who we see using his powers more, but it's, he don't have a control on him. And like. Is he able to control people with his powers because he attacked somebody and then that person woke up and punched him? I don't know what's going on with that necessarily. I'm gonna have to wait further down the line before I necessarily that thing I can like complete. Before I can completely understand exactly what's going on, my bad. I heard like a there's like a ringing going on. Maybe I'm going insane. Uh, Barry wants to go to the day after he dies and see what's going on with the world. He can't get through. Uh, it's, it's a blockage, so he go visit Jay Garrett, uh, the old Flash, and um, yeah, Jay Garrett is married to the the mom and that his mom's doppelganger in that Earth. So yeah, that was pretty tough for him to deal with. You saw it every time he looked at her. It was like he tried to like play it off, but like that, this is your mom. I mean, your mom and your dad basically together. It's just not. It's not them though. It's just two people who look exactly like them. So that's yeah, kind of kind of tough to deal with. Uh, but yeah, he realizes like he sees every possible outcome, every future, and he see him disappearing. And kind of like how you saw in the episode of Arrow when it was like disappearing. Like everybody's like, okay, if this doesn't happen. Like he died. Which is crazy, cause like out of all the flashes, like I'm the one who has to die. Like, come on, to save a billions and all those different. Like, and you saw like how much of a strain that had to take on his mind, because seeing all those people die and all those people pain, that has to take a toll on anybody. You know what I'm saying? That's just what it is. But like, he had to shake back from that. And he basically tells I was like, there's nothing I can do. And I was like. Hey, baby, don't give up. I would listen. As soon as Candace Patton looked at me and said, "Baby, don't give up," I'm not. Nah, baby, I ain't giving up. We can do whatever. I can do it. <laughs> but like, it took Joe to come through and like give him like a, a speech. I think it's about um, resilience. You know what I'm saying? And keep pushing forward. And, like that was the thing. And it wasn't like a necessarily a like okay, this is this is gonna happen. Like, but like at the same time, let's prepare for it. That's like how this is this is uncontrollable. There's nothing we can do about it. So instead of fighting that, let's just get prepared for when it does happen. Exactly how we gonna lead the world? Because if we just spend our, our, our entire time stop trying to stop this from happening, and then it happens after it's all said and done, we weren't prepared. But if we can, if we just work towards like what what comes after this, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, uh, working on the like the future after. You know what I'm saying? I'm gone. Then it will it lead to something better. Also, we have like a little storyline with Killer Frost, who's out here just trying to live life and, and won't be able to express herself. The drawing that was terrible. It is what it is. The drawing was terrible. Uh, but that's how she won't express herself. So I thought the drawing was terrible, like, but I like that she's expressing herself. It's going to be weird, though, to see what happens when she gets like a boyfriend. Like, cause it's gonna, she's going to be having. Soon she'll be having sex. I mean, I was Killer Frost. I think Killer Frost, like, I'm just ain't putting out the Killer Frost, probably kind of like a freak if I'm just being honest. So she's gonna be having sex, and like, it's technically still Caitlyn's body, so I'm kind of wondering how this gonna all go over. It's 
going to be kind of weird. But yeah, good episode. Good episode of Flash. Good episode of Black Lightning. You guys let me know what you thought about both or the, this one, whichever one. You know what I'm saying? Let me know down in the comments. Hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel. I'll catch up with you guys later. Peace. I'm assuming it's a low battery. Wow.